Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, we are going to prepare pyridine. Not the pyridine, but its derivative. We are going to prepare its derivative by this method. I can't pronounce this method, so you please read here. H pyridine synthesis, something like that. We are going to prepare its derivative. The hydropyridine we are going to prepare. Here it involves four components. Two components are beta keto ester. What is beta keto ester? I am going to explain as we move in this video. And one mole of aldehyde and other mole of ammonia. There are four components. Two beta keto ether and one ammonia and one aldehyde. Let's get started. See, you please note it down so that I can rub it. Pause this video and note it down here so that I can rub all these components. Beta keto ester, they told. What is beta keto ester? See, EAA, you have come across with this word. EAA, it is nothing but ethyl aceto acetate. Ethyl aceto acetate. EAA. Ethyl, ethyl, you know, C2H5, isn't it? Aceto, aceto means CH3CO. Ketone group is there. Acetate, 8 means ester group. CH3COO. This is the ethyl aceto acetate. And we are going to combine all these three as I have shown you. First, let me take this compound CH3CO. Then I am going to combine this. So, to balance hydro, hydrogen on carbon, that is, valency will be 4. So, it will be CH2. Then COO and ethyl group I am going to add here. This is about beta keto ester. This is ester group, this is alpha carbon and this is beta carbon. So beta keto ester. This is EAA, ethyl aceto acetate. Ethyl aceto acetate and I have combined. See this is what it is aceto group and this is acetate group and this is ethyl group. This is about ethyl, uh, that is ethyl aceto acetate. We are going to take this two mole in, in this mechanism and this is about EAA. And also here we can see this hydrogen and this hydrogen are acidic in nature because these are attached to this carbon which is sp2 hybridized and there will be resonance. So these are acidic in nature. As we remove H plus, it is going to get minus and it will involve in resonance. So this is, this resonance is nothing but tautomerism. Uh, tautom is, we will call this as tautomerism. As we move further, uh, in one class I will explain about that tautomerism. Now let us concentrate on this mechanism. This is about EA, I told. This is what? Beta keto ester. Ester group is the main group, so this will be alpha carbon, beta carbon, there we have ketone group, so beta keto ester. This is about A. Let me write this A. Let me write this as ET means ethyl, no problem, O here, CO. Let me write this CH2 like this, then CO here and methyl. Yeah, let me write methyl as Mb. No problem, isn't it? Both are one and the same. So I take one of this compound and I am going to react with aldehyde as I have written in the statement. So I will take this ethyl. One molecule of ethyl is taken with aldehyde. See, this is the compound I am going to take with this is methyl. And I have taken this with aldehyde. One mole of A is taken with aldehyde. Aldehyde is like this. R will be here, H will be here. R will be alkyl or aryl. When it is heated, we are going to lose one molecule of water, minus H2O, and the compound will be like this. C double bond C. R here, H here, and here, what we get? COO. ET, isn't it? C double bond O, O, ET. Here I have one C double bond O group and one methyl group. I can write the same compound like this. No problem, no. This carbon R I will write here. And it is going to attach to a carbon here. Then there is double bond. Carbon, carbon, double bond. R attached to carbon. 
then carbon carbon double bond isn't it then here i have co et let me write here co et then single bond here c double bond o c double bond o and one methyl group isn't it it is the same that i have written like that then let me consider other molecule one more molecule of ea this is ethyl group and o c double bond o here ch2 c double bond o and here i have methyl group and i take one molecule of ammonia in h3 here i took aldehyde and here i took ammonia and both the molecules two molecules of ea ethyl acetoacetate in that statement it means the same see this ammonia has no pair of electrons it is electron rich so it is going to attack this carbon because this carbon carbon is electron deficient because this oxygen takes that electron you should ask why this ammonia should not attack this carbon it is because see here eto is a electron releasing group by plus ether because of which the electron deficient this carbon when it gives positive negative charge here it becomes positive but because of this electron releasing group it is not that much electron deficient compared to this this is more electron deficient so this ammonia is going to attack this carbon then our next step will be like this it is here o will be here o is it okay right like you see the bond o and uh, here i have ch2 ch2 let me write here ch ch and here c o minus and then h3 plus h gets positive charge because of unity lone pair of electron and oxygen gets electron charge by taking this electron pair density towards it and here i have methyl group so it was also neutral this compound is neutral this compound is neutral now both combined and the whole compound is neutral plus react with minus it is neutral charge is zero on it and this is we know that on hydrogen it can't have positive charge because it is electron negative so it loses this hydrogen and becomes neutral and this hydrogen will be taken up by this oxygen and the next compound will be that is eto o c double bond o and here we have ch the bond ch and here we have oh and in the nitrogen we will sorry here it is c nh2 oh group is there here and methyl group but this oh group oh will take this electron and becomes oh minus and this proton will be released h plus and both will combine as h2o it will combine as h2o and this bond will sit here because see if it takes oh minus it becomes positive so this bond sit here it becomes neutral by giving h plus proton and both will combine to form h2o let me rub this point you just note it down so that i will get into that it will be easy for me to explain throughout the board you please keep on writing with me so that it will be helpful for you so what i got the compound is uh, like eto co and next c one h is there one h lost and double bond c and i have got nh2 group here and one methyl group isn't it this is what i got and i have got there in first this is first product and this is second product i am going to combine these two so let me consider that first product this is my first product see Uh, double bond O and amine, isn't it? This is my first product. See, in this reaction, what happens is cyclization takes place. What is cyclization? The two, the two molecules react with each other to form a cyclic compound. 
that is nothing but cyclization. What happens is, it has got two lone pair of electrons. It is going to donate here, and this bond is going to shift here, and this bond is going to shift here. So, see, it will be easy. Just you observe. See, single bond C. There we got double bond N. And H2 is there here, H and H. And it gets positive charge by donating lone pair of electron. Whereas this bond has shifted here. So I will write like this. That is the bond which is shifted here. And this bond is going to combine like this. And R group is like this. And minus I am going to get here and here. COO, ED. Same. And here I have methyl group. And here I have ketone group, CO. Isn't it? And I have to balance here. Here also I have COOET, COOET, and here I have one hydrogen because carbon will be four valency, one hydrogen will be there, and here also one hydrogen here minus. Then what happens? This H plus moves as proton here, and this electron shifts here, and this electron gets here because positive charge on electronegative atom is highly unstable, so it becomes like this. If you undergo rearrangement like this, so what we got? Let me. So this is the compound we got now. This hydrogen shifted here. So positive and negative becomes neutral. Hydrogen is here now. I am not going to represent that hydrogen. Just I will make I am not going to neglect that those hydrogens. Because in this picture it will be shown. And double bond here. And single bond here. This bond shifted here. So single bond. Hydrogen is there. Hydrogen. Hydrogen, isn't it? And here we have COO, ET. COO, ET. Let me write ET like this only. No problem. You will understand because you are smart guys. So you will understand only thing. It is the structure we got. We know that this oxygen is electronegative. Since it is more electronegative, it pulls this electron density towards itself. So this carbon gets partial positive charge. So it is going to donate that electron and it completes the circle like this. See, this is the structure we got I think. M, H, H. It gets positive charge as it donates that electron to form a bond. And here we got OH. This O minus. I have methyl group and here O minus. Isn't it? Here I have R. Here I got COOET and here also COOET with double bond. Isn't it? Then what happens is the positive charge on electronegative atom is dangerous because it can't hold. But negative charge it can hold because those are electronegative. So it is going to lose this proton and giving to this oxygen and this bond is going to shift here and it becomes neutral. So my next step will be like this. It becomes NH and becomes neutral. Here it has left OH and the methyl group is here. Here double bond. COO, ET. Here I have got R. Here also COO, ET. Isn't it? Now what happens is, here we have hydrogen, isn't it? For hydrogen. This OH takes this electron density and moves as OH minus and it will move as H plus. And both forms H2O and this one is going to shift here. So our final product is like this. This is our final product, isn't it? See? And here we have what? Metal group. And here also metal group. Where I have related? Here we have metal group, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know whether metal group was there here. Let me verify. Yeah, metal group. See, everywhere I have not shown metal group here. Here we also metal group. Here is also the metal group. So, we will get metal group here. Methyl group is here. Huh? I have not taken methyl group. You see, you are going to get that. It will be easy. Huh? So, our compound is OH took minus OH minus H plus becomes minus H2O. 
Now the compound is like this. This is not pyridine, but it is derivative of pyridine. See, one bond is replaced by two hydrogens. It is reduced. So it is. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that name will be dihydro. Dihydro means two hydrogens will be attached to pyridine. This is the derivative of pyridine which we prepared by this method. We took two molecules of EAA and one molecule of aldehyde and other molecule of ammonia and we got the derivative of pyridine. And this mechanism is very important for you in uh, PSC for exams. So exams in PSC and next class we shall discuss in the electrophilic and nucleophilic reactions. Till then, take care and have a great day. Thank you.